It's time again for your NSC journaling prompt. Get your journals ready. It's part of the Design Your Life series brought to you every Thursday on my social networks, wherever you may follow me. Today, we're going to talk about how to renew your dreams. And we're doing that because some of you were startled at the stat that I shared with you that only 41 women run Fortune 500 companies. That's about 7.2%. And of those, 4% are women of color only two are black. And what we're finding is in the middle of the leadership pipeline that women are spewing out that's in mid management, they are leaving, and either they're being pushed out, or they have stopped dreaming, they had the aspiration, and they're just settling. Some of them are quitting, others of them are just there. They may be reaping some of the benefits, but not all of the benefits of their dreams. So I want to ask you this question today. Go back to the time when you stopped dreaming. When was that? What happened? And how can you start dreaming again? You see, sometimes something happens in our lives that discourages us. And then we forget what it was we dreamed about. However, many of us are very clear that at some point we said, we wanted to run a company. Research has shown that certain groups of women have leadership aspirations that are on par with their male counterparts. In fact, black women are just as aspirational as white men. But somehow we forget these aspirations and it's not a mystery. Some of us are worn down by biases and microaggressions and sometimes what we could just call the corporate BS. Get on my books if you'd like to strategize on how to renew your dreams. Get to dreaming again and turn those dreams into real goals, aspirations, and plans. Click on the link here. I'll see you online. Subscribe to my YouTube channel to get all of this content and more.